if it wasn't for Ramsey. Correct. We would not even be here Correct. because we wouldn't know one single solitary Correct. thing. Correct. Speak Ramsey about it. Correct. Ramsey is a hero. Ramsey is a political prisoner. prisoner. Because they went after Ramsey and put him in jail on bogus charges. And every time the little thing they give him inspection and put him in solitary confinement. They have moved him around to six different jails. And when he did this hearing here, he didn't want to come here. You know why? Because they tried to kill him. The first time was in Rikers Island with Brad Boise. And so he didn't want to come here because he felt en route they could do something to him. So they had it televised. The bottom line is we need to recognize Ramsey for being a hero Correct. for not only Eric, but for every single body. Correct. That's right. Because he put it out there. And he's still facing repercussions. And he's still repercussions. Since he did that hearing, <laughs> they put him in solitary confinement for three months. And he's still not eating the way he needs to because he does not want to be poisoned like they tried before. We have a, a, a petition that's going around. We want um, Letitia James, Attorney General, to help him out because he deserves it. He is our people's hero. He was Eric's friend. And everybody needs to acknowledge that. If it was not for Ramsey, we wouldn't know anything because Eric would have been another dead Negro that what? Lynched to death on Staten Island like the other two. Period. So we all need to come together and work together. Not going with this organization or that organization, but all of us working together because that's how we get that's things right. done. Right on. Period. All right. My name is Eugene. I'm from White Accountability. Some of you know me, some of you don't. But if you're in the street, you should know me. A lot of you people don't know. Y'all may be new to this, but we ask that when you see the true grassroots coming out here and forging a path, you do not sit back and co-opt the grassroots movement. I've seen too much of that. I see too much of the controlling of the optics of who gets in there. I've seen too much of the controlling of the optics who gets in there. This administrative trial belongs to the people to go in. Not somebody, oh well, because I'm friends with the family and I'm friends from this organization, I should get in over you. This belongs to the people. Everybody. The people. And I'm seeing a hierarchy in these organizations where they want to silence grassroots um, information and how it's framed. And I'm going to call it out. Because that's also a centering of whiteness. And keeping black and brown people who have to face this every day. The oppression, the struggle of dealing with a corrupt police department. Mm. Ramsey, Ramsey is being pushed to the side. This man is a hero. Ramsey Order is a hero. And if you want to tell a story, you need to tell it correctly. He put his life on the line to cop watch before cop watching was a thing. Okay? And he's paid the ultimate penalty for it. He's been targeted, he's been arrested, and he's been convicted by the same system. So if you want to tell a story, tell it correct and respect the people who put their lives on the line. Because y'all out here playing. There's no time for revolutionary cosplay in this thing when black and brown people are dying. Continuing in the history of our oppression when we were brought here as enslaved Africans. So I see everybody sitting up here like, you know, it's tea time. No. When y'all get to go home and live your privileged white lives, and if you got a problem with what I'm saying, then I know you ain't about that life, okay? Period. Y'all get to go home to your privileged white lives 
or your non-black adjacent, while we still have to continue to fight and struggle as black Africans and Latino, Latinx people. We're not going to do that. Okay? And also, I don't know if everybody is aware of that, but this is not even a federal trial. It's and not. the feds have six weeks. If they don't take them to trial in six weeks, then that's it. The statute, the statute of limitations, of limitations has run out. So they're dragging their feet, and that's somewhere that's else. Nice. That's something nice. else that a, a person needs to be applied on. Six weeks go by, and they're gonna go. They're gonna let it go by size. But are we? That's what the issue is. Correct. And we also have uh, Joshua Lopez here. Correct. He's been in the struggle since his uncle was murdered, murdered. by Correct. the police, and he's been supporter since day one. So that's the brother special. wants to yeah, say yeah, something. Yeah. I, I lost my uncle also to a NYPD. My uncle's name was John Colado. He was breaking up a fight in 2011. Well, he didn't know that one of the persons talking all the um, trouble with the uh, undercover police officer and my uncle paid for his life. So, since then, I've been on uh, the outside of the street. I don't talk to the I'm here to expose police terror and uh, if you can see on the side I created a huge slide and this is only on the other side. My job is to expose the uh, home group to the website. Thank you guys for being out here and we all must support each other. And remember, Ramsey is a true hero. Without Ramsey, we would not know what happened to the party. Also, I just, I just went to see Ramsey this past weekend, this past Saturday. And he is I think, isolated um, in the box for another 30 days. And, um, he's, been, he's been targeted. Even, even in jail, um, he's still facing repercussions. So we call it the name of our family. So, um, we must then recover that. Hey, uh, I think we're gonna, uh, I think we wanna go back to some chants, but start with um, remembering Arabs by saying, I can't breathe 11 times. So this is, yeah, this is the one of the original chants. I can't breathe. One. I can't breathe. Two. I can't breathe. Three. I can't breathe. Four. I can't breathe. Five. I can't breathe. Six. I can't breathe. Seven. I can't breathe. Eight. I can't breathe. Nine. I can't breathe. Ten. I can't breathe. Eleven. I can't breathe. Trespassing on the sidewalk. But it's good. It's sick. <laughs> I'm just standing in public, standing in a public place that I've been arrested at many times and been brutalized by the police. So please, like, just Google it, just Google it, you know, figure out who, like, who's representing who, who's been in the streets for who, right? I've been in the streets for Eric, I've been in the streets for Erica. This flag is very, this flag was brought out on the one year anniversary of the murder of Eric Garner. Thousands of people saw it, and thousands of people appreciate the work that I do. So, and a lot of us are in the streets getting arrested right with that flag. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just walk around. Most of the people that are here right now, we're not in the streets. A lot of us are getting cool on the streets. I was trying to avoid showing the back of it to people.
who taught the Candelaria the seatbelt technique. The issue is, was it a proper technique being taught and authorized as a legal takedown method prior to the date of the incident? And it was. He was. The real takedown technique he was taught in the academy as it evolved, turned into the seatbelt method that was ultimately taught. So, a real takedown method was taught. They're all variations of the seatbelt technique. Why was, what, there, why was there bruising on the neck? Do you know that concession from Dr. Grant? Yes, I always said, when they were about to go through the plate glass window, and he jerked him down to the ground to save both of them from being charged to death by sharp objects, that's when he sustained the soft tissue injury to his neck, which did not significantly interfere with his breathing at any point in time. Even though he's still a target, did he want to testify to clear his name today? If this trial was July 19th, he would have testified, and I put that on the record many times. We will, we will do everything we can pursuant to 50 Thank you, everyone. Thank you.
of a trial that was due right after Eric was killed five years ago. So I went on here because we want justice, because we want the truth to come out. And we're here specifically in this moment, in this place, in this time, because we want to support Ms. Carr. So I'm going to ask Ms. Carr to speak. And actually, right before I ask you to speak, I just want to acknowledge some other members of uh, Gwen Carr's family. So Alicia Flag Garner, Eric's sister, Connie Town Townsend, Eric's aunt, Legacy Garner, Eric's youngest ch child who's five years old. And Michael Garner. Michael, Michael, Michael Garner. And Michael Garner as well. And I'm also just gonna name some supporters here. Iris Baez, who's the mother of Anthony Baez. And we all know Anthony Baez was killed in 1994 with what? A chokehold, an illegal chokehold. And um, Hawa Ba, who is the mother of Muhammad Ba. And we'll be joined later by council members from the Black, Latino, and Asian Caucus. Joshua Lopez. And Joshua Lopez is also here, the nephew of John Collado. John Collado. So let's just give some big love to Ms. Carr, who's been inside one piece all day. Woo! 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 Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. As always, I thank you all for standing with me and for, for supporting me because this battle is not easy. And as I sat in court all day today and listening, listening to more lies, listening to how they're going to let Pandaleo not testify because he can give in a statement that cannot be challenged. Is that fair? Is that justice? No. no! I don't think that's justice. We waited five years. We fought hard. I fought hard with all of these community, these committees to get this trial. And now at the end of it, we may not even know what the end result is. That's right. Shame on NYPD. Right. Yeah. We have to know, we have to fight for this, ladies and gentlemen. We have to not let it stop here because tomorrow the trial might be over, but we're not going to be over. We're yes. going to be out here. We're going to be about, out and about, and we're still going to carry on. We're going to let them know that they're not going to sweep this under the rug. Mm -hmm. We are going to get justice. One way or the other, we are going to demand justice. They're trying to say that this was not a chokehold. The whole world seeing that it was a chokehold. They're saying that my son caused his own death. All the shenanigans, shame on you, uh, the PBA department, shame on you. I want to say to each and every one of you to please continue to help me hold this fight up because there is so many distractions, disturbance in that courtroom, the things that are coming out. This trial should have been gone on since December of 2014. Mm -hmm. And then uh, January of 2015, it was recommended. The investigators said that charges should be brought to Pandaleo. Nobody took heed. And when he's still getting paid, our tax dollars, mm -hmm. he's still making a six salary figure. Mm -hmm. Why? On administrative duty? I would, don't y'all wish y'all could do that? Mm. Sit back and get a six figure salary? But you know, this has got to stop. Mm. It has to stop. That's and right. with your support, it will stop. And I thank you so much. And thank you, Reverend Dorothy, for coming every day. Mm -hmm. Thank all of you who's out here to support me in all kind of ways, my family. And I just say, stay here, stick with me. Thank you. Woo! So next, I'm going to bring up our public advocate, Jumani Williams. Clap it up, clap it up. Order, right. He's the only one that got time. And he's not the one that belongs in jail. Right. We got we got at least a dozen police officers right. who belong right. to be in jail. And they took poor little Ramsey Order, right. the one who is my hero. He's the one who's 
who caused all of us to be out here today because the world saw what he did, what, what Pandaleo did to my son. And thank you, Ramsey. That's right. Next, I'm bringing up Linda Sarsour from the Justice League and Women's March. Hey, Linda. Good, e good afternoon, everyone. I'm here today on behalf of the Justice League and the Gathering for Justice, an organization founded by the legendary Harry Belafonte. And I agree wholeheartedly with the statement of Carmen Perez. It doesn't matter what happens in that courtroom. We already know that the court system ha was never made for black and brown people and for immigrant people and marginalized people here in New York City. Let us make one thing crystal clear that no matter what this judge decides or recommends at the completion of this trial, Daniel Pantaleo must be fired. Yes, right. Mayor de Blasio has the power. He has the authority. He has the responsibility. And now, after the outrageous revelations over the last few weeks of this proceeding, he has the moral responsibility to remove Pantaleo from his position and finally serve justice to Eric Garner's family. Mayor de Blasio, I hope that you're paying attention to us and not paying attention to your losing stride at being never the president of the United States of America. Yes. I hope that you see the power of the people right here in New York City, your residents. You can't hide behind this judge forever. You must face our community and do what's right once and for all. We're looking at you, Mayor Bill de Blasio. All right. Woo! 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 Gonna bring up our last two speakers, Monifa Bandele from Moms Rising. Yes. And Yosan Lee from the Justice Committee. Come on up. I'm going to keep this brief. We have gone backwards, New York. We, 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 we rallied around a mayor that said he was going to take us forward in reforming police, but we have gone backwards. Right here to my left is Mrs. Baez. The same chokehold that we're discussing today was applied to her son. Her son was also killed by the police, by a chokehold, right. but decades ago. Mm -hmm. And do you know what happened to Francis Lavodi, the officer that killed Anthony Baez? He was indicted. He went to trial. He lost his job. And this is under an administration that we called racist. Mm -hmm. We said it was rampant with police brutality, lack of accountability, and lack of transparency. Fast forward to 2019, and what do we have? Jamani said we have the lowest bar possible. We're out here begging that somebody still not be paid by our hardworking tax dollars right. who's out there killing us. We have gone backwards, and Moms Rising and Malcolm X Grassroots Movement are here to say, not on our watch. Right. We will move forward whether you are with us or not. We will move forward, we will have justice, Pantaleo will be without a job, and we will continue to fight this that plagues our city. New Yorkers, we will not go back. Let me hear you say, we won't go back. We won't go back. Fire Pantaleo. Fire Pantaleo. Fire Pantaleo. Fire Pantaleo. Peace.
Florida. This is legacy. The, the, um, the legacy that, that Eric Garner left behind. These are the true people who are trying to be here for justice for who? Eric Garner. Eric Garner. Yeah. This is grassroots people that's been here and our boots are going to stay on the ground. As I said earlier, in six weeks, um, the time will be up for the feds to bring uh, the trial. So we need to be applying pressure in that area and not just focus on what's going on here. And then even at that point, we need to make sure that the movement and the fight remains with the people. We don't need guest lists to get into a trial. This is not the club. This is not a velvet robe. We shouldn't have all of that to get into. The movement belongs to the people. Because every 28 hours, this happens to black people. So it doesn't belong to one family or one family member. That belongs to all of us because we're here to prevent that from happening to our family. Don't wait till it happens to yours to get out here. And another thing is that this is about black oppression. So we should always make sure that it's black led Because at the end of the day, we're the ones who have to wear that oppression. People can support, be an ally, but it must be black led Kim Morty, some MIC shut it down and cop out control unit. I'm gonna keep this shit real short and simple. I just wanna let you know, legacy and jewel that anything you need from NYC shut it down, cop out control unit. You let us know what you're Okay, I want to reiterate that if it wasn't for our black Latino brother from another mother, Randy Orta, yeah. we would not be here today. And we yeah. yeah. took the video of his friend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Nobody would care because Ramsey took that video and put his life on the line. There were two other people, two other people who were modern day lynched to death by the cops on Staten Island. And nobody knew about them. Why? Because there was no video. But once there was a video for Eric, his friend put his life on the line for Eric. Eric is our true people's hero. People need to have his back to help him out. He is a political prisoner because they came at him. And also and people he, might not realize this, but there was another video that a sister took and she was harassed so badly that she hasn't been vocal since. So these are the tactics that they do when you get out there and push the stand for black liberation. Don't just think it's just as easy as getting out there when you're black or brown. You're actually attacked for doing those things. The Ramsey's girlfriend, so she has direct contact with him. I would just like to say that it's crazy that Ramsey's the only person in jail right now. Um, I can't tell you just to walk free, be with his family, be with everybody that loves him. Um, Ramsey goes to constant in solitary confinement. He's actually now they keep adding charges on his tickets, they keep on using him, they keep on keeping him in the hole. He gets lots of privileges on a constant basis, lots of packages, lots of phone, and he just goes through a lot having to deal with what he's done, what his friend ever gone on. So it's just a shame and I want everybody to continue to fight and continue to be here for him and legacy and you know us as a people because we really value it and respect him and love him so much and I see you guys as a safe what it's really about. Thank you. I would also like to say that it is about the entire family. Not just Quinn, his legacy, and all of his other children. All of them need to be represented. And then, like the sister said, all these people have been killed by the cops. And it continues. As far as Ramsey is concerned, Ramsey, we have a petition for Ramsey. And you can go to Legacy, 
the legacy that um, Eric Garner left behind page and sign that petition and also uh, put it on blast on, on, with other petitions, okay? On other pages. But we need to stick together. This was not right. Those other organizations, we should have been working together, not them calling the shots. And that's what happened. So we're going to make a stink and we're going to say, hey, you know what? We're staying together. In honor of this child and everybody else in her family. That's right. This is, what's your name? Legacy Garner. Say it loud. Legacy Garner. That's right. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.